Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Ronald Araujo and his recent injury update and how Ronald Koeman should be tackling the next two games without Ronald Araujo. Then we are going to be talking about the recent updates regarding Messi and Manchester City. Reports have circulated that City are not going to give up on signing Lionel Messi and we should expect to hear more proposals coming from City in order to sign the legend Lionel Messi. And then last Lastly, we are going to be talking about Sergio Aguero and his negotiations going on between the club and the player and if he could be the right fit for FC Barcelona. So first, we are going to be talking about Ronald Araujo. I do believe that this is probably the biggest news we do have to talk about in today's video because Ronald Araujo has been one of the most important players for this club in this season and we do have many important games coming up ahead within these next 10 to 12 days. And it says here, according to Javi Miguel, Ronald Araujo is practically ruled out for the match which is the first leg against PSG next week. Now, if you guys do not know what did happen to Ronald Araujo, in the previous match, Araujo was trying to do a clearance with the ball when a player was trying to pressure him. But what ended up happening was Araujo did have a awkward stance on the field. Before he did kick that ball and try to clear that ball into the other side of the pitch, Ronald Araujo did not stand correctly and that is why he twisted or injured his ankle. And now that we are hearing that Araujo could be missing that match against PSG, that is a huge deal because this has been a team where they have shown unity, they have shown collectiveness and that this young rejuvenated team wants to go somewhere in this season and it is very unfortunate to see that Ronald Araujo could be missing these next two or three matches that could be very vital for Barcelona and I'm going to be showing you guys a picture to show you guys exactly just what this player has become for this team and I really want you guys to pay attention to these numbers so you guys can see just how how much of a monster Ronald Araujo has become compared to the other center backs that Barcelona currently do have. These are going to be the defensive duels these center backs have placed. You look at Gerard Piquet who has executed a total of 4.26 defensive duels per match with the accuracy of him winning those defensive duels with a total of 69.8%. You move on to Minguesa. He distributes a total of 8.9 defensive duels per match and wins a total of 58.4% of those defensive duels. Then moving on to Umtiti. The same goes for him. He wins a total of 64.3% of those defensive duels. Moving on to Longley, he wins a total of 63.5% of those defensive duels. And then lastly, you look at Ronald Araujo. And this is why I do say this is probably the most important player for FC Barcelona right now. He executes a total of 5.81 defensive duels per match and he wins a total of 78.8% of those defensive duels. That is is a huge margin. That is what you call quality. The quality difference in terms of defensive duels and being a true defender for Barcelona. The quality really does stand out between Araujo and the other center backs. And I bet you right now that Ronald Koeman is probably in that club, in his boardroom, brainstorming how is he going to be tackling these next few matches without the star center back. Now here's the thing. They have also explained that Ronald Araujo has encountered other injuries in the past where they have said that he was going to be out for this specific amount of time but he ends up coming back much much earlier as for this injury right here Ronald Araujo is expected to be out for a total of three weeks but within the club they have explained that they would not be surprised if Araujo does come back within a week and the club simply do not want to close down the possibility of that happening if we were to look at the last season Ronald Araujo did encounter a injury where he was expected to be out for a total of 10 to 3 weeks but he did end up coming back within a week and the same thing could be applied towards this injury injury that Ronald Araujo currently does have. So if Araujo is going to be out for these next two or three matches. I do see two possibilities Kuman could execute in that defensive line against Sevilla, against PSG, and against Alaves. The first possibility I do see is to see a defensive line of Serginho Dest as the right back, Samuel Umtiti and Longley as the center back pairing, and Jordi Alba as the left back. Now here is where things get very technical. I do see Frankie de Jong acting as a central defensive midfielder and dropping down into that defensive line between Longley and Samuel Umtiti in order to have that 
security within that defensive line because to be very honest if we were going to be depending on Samuel Umtiti and Longley to hold that ball and look for players to pass it to while they are being pressured that is a big big risk and the only player that does extremely well under pressure is Frankie de Jong and we have already seen that happen throughout this season the second possibility I do see is to see Frankie de Jong become a center back in place of Longley and then have de Jong and Umtiti switch positions so Frankie de Jong would be as the right center back and Samuel Umtiti will be as the left center back and then have Jordi Alba and Serginho Dest as the fullbacks in that defensive line and then as for the midfield I do expect to see Busquets as the central defensive midfielder and then for the interiors I do expect to see Pjanic and Pedri within that midfield that could be the two possibilities Ronald Koeman could go for within these next two or three matches but whatever does happen if Araujo does recover much much earlier we will be talking about it here in this YouTube channel and then moving on to the next topic of today and we are going to be talking about Lionel Messi so here is the report that did come out coming from Moises Llorens and he has explained Man City has not given up on the signing on Messi on a free transfer this summer but they will wait until March or April before sounding out the situation regarding the Barcelona forward and this is according to various sources coming from ESPN now I have been getting many questions regarding Messi and what we could and when we could expect to hear from Lionel Messi and here's how I do think everything is going to be playing out I do expect the president to come first and arrive first whether it's Laporta or Victor Font once that president does come to the club I do expect the president again whether it's Laporta or Victor Font intending to sign Messi immediately after he does take over but to be very honest I don't see that happening I do see Messi hesitating in a sense or trying to hold back and say I'm going to wait until the summer of 2021 and then make a decision and that is how things are going to be playing out I do believe that Messi is going to be making that decision in the summer and we are going to hear from Messi himself on what he wants to do with this club whether he's going to be staying or leaving because let me tell you guys something if Messi were to make a decision very early before the season does end that is going to completely kill the dressing room and that is the last thing these Barcelona players do want to hear is knowing that Messi could be leaving at the end of the season you do not want to have that imbalance or create that chaos within this club Messi knows his power now Moises Llorens has continued to say that Pep Guardiola has also spoken with Messi on the phone to sell him on City's project last summer they have also stated that a few members of the club staff remain in regular contact with Messi's people so the conversations is real the conversation between Guardiola and Messi and City and Messi is absolutely real these conversations do exist and they can continue to be advanced within this summer but as of now Messi is focused on trying to win the Champions League or La Liga or maybe even both with FC Barcelona Messi is not even thinking about going to either PSG or Manchester City but here is what I really do wonder right when we do talk about Barcelona winning titles our biggest question right now is going to be this what title is going to make Messi stay in Barcelona is it going to be winning La Liga is it going to be winning the Champions League or is it going to be winning both of these two titles in order for Messi to stay in other words what are Messi's standards that is going to be the biggest question everyone is going to be having through this season and I do see another option Messi could be going for and that is that yes it could be winning titles but it could also be that Messi probably just wants to see youth players being involved in this team and actually be competitive against these top level teams against the cities against the Liverpools against the Bayern Munichs against the Juventus the Inter Milans all of these top level teams Messi does want to see his Barcelona team be competitive against those clubs because again let me tell you guys something there was a interview that Messi did have and he has stated that the only reason why he wants to leave is because he wants to make more room for the youth players that are emerging into this Barcelona team and if that's really going to be the case right if Messi truly believes that the youth needs to come back into this club like what did happen in 2008 and 2009 there is no difference between FC Barcelona and Manchester City City are birthing great young players and Barcelona are also doing the exact same thing alongside Pedri alongside Frankie de Jong Araujo Des Dembele Ansu Fati there are many young players emerging into this brand new rejuvenated Barcelona team City and Barcelona are no different but the only difference I do see between Barcelona and City right now is that City would not leave the Champions League losing a 2 City would not get knocked out from the semi-finals losing 4-0 away Barcelona would Barcelona do not lose gracefully Barcelona completely bottle every semi-final or quarter-final match they have encountered in the past three or four years that is the biggest difference but that is the other reason why Messi does want to see the youth players is because he wants new 
new blood in this team. New blood that does not bottle quarterfinal or semifinal matches. Because if you were to have the conversation and the argument of City can go farther in any tournament than FC Barcelona, that is a complete lie. You're lying to yourself because in the previous Champions League season, City and Barcelona left in the exact same stage. The only, again, the only difference was that Barcelona got knocked out and humiliated a two against Bayern Munich. And so if Barcelona can't fix that, that humiliation and bring a new Barcelona and show that we could be competitive and lose gracefully with dignity, then that is where I believe Messi is going to be finding absolutely no reason for him to leave this club. Because let me tell you, Messi wants to stay. Messi wants to stay at this Barcelona club. Messi loves this club. And whatever Bartomeu was for FC Barcelona, Bartomeu was never FC Barcelona. And that is why Messi wanted to leave. He wanted to leave because of that man, not because of this club. And so if this club can be reinstalled and rejuvenated, Messi is going to be staying. Regardless if Barcelona only win La Liga or lose gracefully in a semi-final match, Messi just wants to be competitive again. And Barcelona, this club is capable to do that. And the last topic I do want to talk about is going to be regarding Sergio Aguero. And many sources have stated that Aguero wants to learn City's plan before deciding his next step and would welcome the idea of renewing his contract if the terms are acceptable. In Barcelona, there are some presidential candidates that view him as an acquisition that could encourage Messi to stay in this club. Now, when we talk about Sergio Aguero, the first thing I do want to say regarding this report is that we should take this with a grain of salt. And I'm going to be talking about this very quickly because there's not enough evidence or enough information in, in order for me to come to a conclusion whether Aguero is a good move or not. But as of now, because it is so early, we should take this with a grain of salt. I do think that the fact that we are hearing the presidential candidates wanting to bring Aguero only to bring him to encourage Messi to stay is absolutely lazy. Because if that's going to be the case, if you really want to bring Aguero to FC Barcelona, what that is telling us is that these presidential candidates, they just want to make up for Luis Suarez's absence from this club. And that is it, right? That is basically what Aguero is going to be brought in for because at 32 years old, it really just looks like you want to bring in a replacement for Luis Suarez and you know that whoever did sell Suarez to Atletico Madrid was a complete mistake. So as for the presidential candidates, when it comes to the argument of trying to bring Aguero because of Lionel Messi, that is just being completely lazy and very unconvincing. Now, Aguero is a great player. I do believe that he can bring great results, bring goals to FC Barcelona. And what could possibly be the reason why City want to sell Aguero? Well, that is because yesterday we have seen Manchester City beat Liverpool 4-1 at Anfield. And in that game, Man City had no striker. Not one striker was involved in that game. And because City beat Liverpool 4-1 and they beat them so comfortably, it did seem like City are doing just fine without their leading goal scorer, which is Sergio Aguero. And they have came to a conclusion that they no longer need their all-time leading goal scorer. But that is where the negotiations are going to be coming in. Does City want to renew Sergio Aguero at 32 years old and going to be turning 33 later this year because his contract with City does end in this season. And so that is going to be my conclusion. I do believe that City have to negotiate with Aguero first in this summer and then have the conversation on whether Aguero is a good fit for FC Barcelona. Because let me tell you guys something. The next striker that Barcelona are going to be signing, they have to nail it. Whoever it's going to be, whether it's coming from the scouting department, signing a striker from Brazil or Argentina or Colombia or signing a world-class striker like Haaland or Mbappe, Barcelona have to nail this next striker and they have to make it one of the best signings they have made in a very long time. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.